calling me uh this is awesome for real thank you um i guess i'll talk to you soon yeah man uh thanks for talking to me i guess we'll see you in january buddy all right man thank you see you who is that that was the that was the guy that that was tim the guy that's part of the agency that emailed twitty about me I don't think we realize the magnitude of the things that bring us joy out of nowhere. It's like the excitement in something good happening for a reason, even if we don't know that reason. When I was a kid, I dreamt of being two things. The first, a fireman. I loved the hero aspect of it, and it was just cool to me. And the second, a professional basketball player. It wasn't until fifth grade I truly fell in love with the game, and even then it wasn't until junior year of high school that I thought I might actually have a chance of playing at the collegiate level. This might seem redundant, but I didn't play varsity basketball in high school until junior year, and at the end of senior year I only had about five D3 schools interested in me. I'd lie all the time and say D2 schools were emailing me and shit, but that wasn't the case. It was almost like I was manifesting my own embarrassment. Fast forward a few years, I had the chance, as many of you know, to play for Coach Feline in the University of Mount Union. I ended my career with a few awards like first team all conference, thousand point score, and my team and I were conference champions. And there's a few more. I feel like this year's just been a shit show. Mentally, it just seems like everyone's a little drained. It seems like it's become harder and harder to focus. And in the simplest terms, it almost feels like in a weird way, it's a blessing for a lot of people because now we've given ourselves the easiest excuse of everything going on. I mean, how many times have you said that this year? Everything going on. When instead, maybe we should be asking ourselves, what can I do differently to still progress? Because life doesn't give a fuck about your excuses. The secret is continually attempting to move forward, even if that's baby steps. And if it's not clicking yet, what I'm trying to get at here is although things are getting harder and harder for us, the more you can push yourself without complaining or making the excuse of everything going on, then the more light you're going to see, even in the dark. This year was complete ups and downs even for myself, despite what you guys might see online. Receiving this phone call to finally even have the chance to wear a professional basketball jersey is a highlight for me. Kind of what I was saying at the beginning with not realizing the magnitude of the things that bring us joy out of nowhere. When I got the call, I didn't instantly think of YouTube and recording and documenting and vlogging and putting it out online. I finally thought back to the hours in the gym and the sleepless and stressful nights of not knowing if I was just wasting my time simply trying to build my craft. Give yourself something to work for and stop letting your mind dictate whether you're going to feel stagnant in life. This January, I'll be traveling to Dallas to compete with 20 other dudes for a few spots on some European teams. I'm nervous, but I'm working. This is something that means more to me than anyone knows. I'll finally get to lock away time for just basketball and my creative side again. I want to get better every day and document my experience and stay away from falling into the YouTube hole of just simply uploading what does good for me. I hope you guys are excited as I am to bring back the game day vlog somewhere across the world. <laughs>